I'm doing problem 13.9. Let f equal xc squared, one third y cubed plus tangent z, x squared z plus x squared plus y squared, and let s be the upper half of the unit sphere, x squared plus y squared plus z squared, oriented in the positive z direction. Use the divergence theorem to evaluate the flux integral f dot ds. Right, so on the left here is the given surface S, um, which is like the shell of the uh, unit sphere. Um, but you'll notice it's not a closed surface, and uh, we need to be a closed surface to do this. Um, so we're going to create S1, which is a unit um, disk on the xy plane. Um, and then we'll let S2 equal S union S1, so just a nice closed surface. Um, and then also make sure S1 is oriented downwards, uh, negative z direction, uh, so that the orientation of the whole um, closed surface is outwards. Um, that's important. Um, so then to solve for f dot ds, which is what we're searching for, you're going to have the closed surface, which is uh, s2, f dot ds, minus the surface we created, um, f dot ds there. Um, so first, we're going to, uh, we have to find uh, uh, f dot ds of s2 which um, is equal to uh, divergence f dot dv over that uh, closed surface. So first we have to solve for div f. All right, now we have to solve for div f, which is equal to the partial of x of x c squared plus partial y of one third y cubed plus tangent z plus partial z of x squared z plus x squared plus y squared. Um, and this can come out really nicely as div f equals z squared plus y squared plus x squared. Um, so then you're going to plug that into um, the triple integral of div f dv. Um, and then we're going to convert it from uh, Cartesian to spherical coordinates. So then you have um, rho squared equals x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And then your limits of e are going to be of the, that of a unit semisphere, which is pretty easy from uh, rho from 0 to 1, phi from 0 to pi over 2, and theta from 0 to 2 pi. Uh, so when you plug that in, this is what your integral is going to look like. So then you have uh, rho squared sine phi, rho squared d rho d phi d theta from 0 to 1, 0 to pi over 2, 0 to 2 pi. Uh, when you take that integral, um, it's going to come out as 2 pi over 5. Uh, but then you have to remember that's only the first part of what we need, which is right here. Uh, so we need to find, uh, now we need to find the second part, which is uh, f dot ds of s1. Um, all right, now for the last part, we're going to solve for f dot ds of s1. Um, it's important here that you remember um, the orientation of uh, this part uh, is in the negative k um, orientation. So we're going to have um, f dot negative k um, ds which is going to be equal to x uh, xc squared, uh, one third y cubed plus tangent z, x squared z plus x squared plus y squared, dot um, zero zero negative one uh, dx dy, which gives us um, double integral over s1 of negative x squared uh, z plus x squared plus y squared uh, dx dy. And then here you can remember um, that since uh, s1 lays only in the xy plane, that z, uh, z will be equal to zero the whole time. Then you can uh, cancel out this term. Um, so then your resulting integral is the double integral of negative x squared plus y squared dx dy. Um, so take this integral, it'll be easier to um, convert to polar coordinate coordinates. Um, so you have x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Um, and r squared is going to be less than or equal to one. Um, so then you have the integral from zero to one um, and zero to two, uh, two pi of r squared uh, r dr d theta. Um, so then you can take this integral. Um, it's pretty easy. And then you're going to get negative pi over 2. Um, and then that's the second part of what you were looking for. Um, so then to finish, uh, you're going to put negative 2 pi over 5, which is what this was equal to, minus what we just found. And then you're going to get 9 pi over 10 is equal to f dot ds of the original surface, s. Thank you.